Hello guys, it's Sunday. How is everyone today? Well, I'm glad to be in the kitchen with you all again. And I just wanted to share my Sunday night meal. And what we have today is we have country spare ribs and we're going to be deep frying them guys. We're gonna be deep frying them and this is just some flour with some garlic and lemon pepper seasoning. Okay, and we're gonna be rubbing them the ribs with this seasoning, which is the same thing here. And this is gonna be our Brussels sprouts, which we're gonna be serving today. And we have some olive oil along with vegetable oil. And we're just gonna season those Brussels sprouts with some salt, uh, black pepper. And so let's get started, guys. So here we have the Brussels sprouts. And as you see, I've already started them there, but I just wanted to share with you guys you're just gonna cut the end off. That's the core end. So just cut that off, and then go in and cut them in half. And we're gonna draw our attention here because we're gonna crank the fire up. And we're gonna be roasting these in the oven, but we're gonna start them here. So this is just vegetable oil along with some extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna be deep frying, deep frying the ribs in this oil. Okay, so we're going to Go ahead, and we're going to toss a little bit of this oil in with those Brussels sprouts, as well as the Brussels sprout seasoning mixture. And you can be generous with it. We're going to start them in the pan, and then we're going to go ahead and finish them in the oven so we can roast them, because they are roasted Brussels sprouts. So, hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Let me know you're there, because I love coming and sharing different ideas with you on recipes. So if you like Brussels sprouts, you can roast them, give them some color in the pan first. And so we're just going to go in and toss them in. Get it up high. And we'll do it in two batches because I don't want to. Okay. My grandson is here. Camera with the camera tonight. Let's turn it down a little bit because he's scared. Y'all. We're going to clean up. So, guys, I hope you all are having a great day weekend or had a great weekend. I hope everyone is doing fine. So we're going to go in while those do their thing. So we're going to go ahead with the ribs here and just want to give them a nice seasoning. That's the garlic, plenty of garlic and lemon pepper. And you just want to go in and toss them real well. them real nice because they are garlic lemon pepper so you see that color and that's how you want to the taste so good so I'm just going to take that away and just toss them just to get them nicely coated then you're going to go in here and I did season the flour as well. And so just go ahead and dredge them in your flour. And we'll take that away. And just bring it and just coat everything nice. And I'm going to make sure we got it up, the skillet up, the pan, the, um, the oil. We can go ahead and fry them on up for you guys. So just toss everything and coat it well. I had my sous chef here, but she wasn't feeling too good today. So I guess she got a sick day on us. So grandson is doing two jobs today, y'all. Uh, he's doing two jobs. Sous chef and the cameraman today. 
Mm, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse up right quick. So everybody. Mm, look at those Brussels sprouts. Sunday, fun day. Wind down day. So how are they coming along, grandson? Let's go in here. Yeah. yeah, that's what you want to so get that nice color on them and finish them off in the oven. They won't spend much time in there. Go ahead and take the oil. Yeah, so that's what gives them a lot of flavor, that color on there. See that? Gives it a nice, such a nice flavor. And they're healthy for you and fresh, so can't go wrong there. So we're going to go ahead and start our ribs, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and swim them in, as I like to call it. Swim it in. Just go ahead and swim them in. <laughs> they like that. Test the waters first. Nobody just want to jump right in. And I'll test in the water. Got those going. And those Brussels sprouts smell so good on the guys' Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get popped by them. So just clean up, wash your hands. Take that back out. Go ahead and leave the oil behind for the next batch. And then once they're ready, we're going to go ahead and throw them in the oven. And they'll get soft and moist in the oven, but they'll still have that nice char on them. Ooh. So guys, let me know if you like the channel. Send me a like or some suggestions or something. They're really popping up though. <laughs> so, we got those in there. So we're just going ahead and let those do the same thing. And we got our ribs frying up there. Yummy. Go we'll taste delicious. So we're going to go ahead and kill the fire on this second batch. And as you see, they got a nice color. And they're soft. They have softened up a little bit, but not nearly enough. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. And the reason why I put them in this pan is because I want that, that fat to stay in there when I roast them. So we're going to, and we won't hurt, that won't hurt either. Okay. Mmm. Looks yummy. They are delicious. We tasted them, guys, just for you. Delish. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and put them on that pan there. We just want to put them in a single layer because we want them to roast, finish roasting. We just seared them on top there just to start them off. See that color? Oh, yeah. Pop color is great. Nice. So we're going to go in the oven with them, guys. Oh. We were checking in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, we have the ribs here. Gonna go ahead and start taking them out. And I put them on there just to drain the fat, the fat away. Because we want them nice and crispy, guys. Don't they look delicious? Mm-hmm. We're gonna get that garlic. 
and the lemon pepper, which is heavily seasoned on the ribs. Ooh. And also the flour that we seasoned. So we're gonna go in with our second batch here. Go in with our second batch and let them get the love. Swim them in, guys. Let them test the waters, okay? They just fry better that way. Show them some love. Okay, so we got those in and we're gonna let those cook. Okay, we got our second batch going and they're just about ready to come on out of there. Guys, and I had to taste it for you all. Mm -hmm. Woo! Me it too. is so good. That garlic is up front and forward. It's delish. Yeah, if you like garlic. And then if you like that lemon pepper. Oh my god. You guys should really try it. It's delish. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Especially if you like fried um pot chops. Mm -hmm. Ribs. I mean fried ribs. That's grandson, y'all. He trying to tell y'all something. <laughs> this is not my real voice, but <laughs> so why are you using it? So guys, look at that. How beautiful are those ribs? Delish. So beautiful. Okay, so guys, here are those beautiful garlic, lemon, pepper, deep fried ribs, mm -hmm. and they are so good. I had to try it for you all. Delicious. And I just took those roasted Brussels sprouts out of the oven. Mmm. And trust me, they are fabulous. So we're just going to put them here until we get ready for them, guys. But those crispy little skins along with those Brussels sprouts are absolutely delicious. Trust me when I tell you. So we got those. They are so good. Look at that, guys. Very delicious. Yes. Very. So guys, there you have it. Mm. You have your roasted Brussels sprouts here. Please get rid of that. So you have your ro roasted Brussels sprouts and your garlic, lemon pepper, deep fried ribs. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I really hope you guys would do so. And I would love to continue to share these recipes with you all. But we're going to enjoy the food, and I hope you make it and subscribe to the channel, like, or just whatever you choose to do. Thanks so much, guys. Bon appetit.